Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs. Jurassic World Spinosaurus. This is the one by Hasbro. If you move the tail, the mouth opens. The arms and legs also move. I can see Blue and Indoraptor. I'm going to do them next. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs. Indoraptor bears an eerie but powerful similar appearance to Indominus Rex but it's about three quarters of its size. Sports toe claws that are similar to a Velociraptor's. Blue, the Velociraptor. She's a female and she appeared in Jurassic World and also in the last movie Fallen Kingdom. She is the leader of the raptors. She is known to be stubborn but is quite loyal to Owen and his siblings. Diplodocus had a very long neck and quite a small head. Its head was less than two feet with nostrils at the top of the head. It was among the longest land animals ever. Mosasaurus, these apex predators of the prehistoric deep can feast on all manner of ocean life. Their double hinged jaws open wide for any prey, including plesiosaurs and great white sharks. They are not actually dinosaurs, but in fact marine reptiles. And here's Blue again. This is really good, it makes great noises. And the arms will move as well. The Velociraptor, they are highly intelligent pack hunters. Utah Raptor was between 6 and 7 metres long, making it one of the largest known dromosaurids. Being a larger animal, Utah Raptor also had a larger claw, estimated to be potentially 24 centimetres or 10 inches long. Barry Onyx is one of the largest fish-eating dinosaurs. Its crocodile-like head and dangerous claws make it a master hunter of rivers and lakes. Tyrannosaurus had fully scaled skin. Its skin was thick, being able to withstand the razor sharp toe claws of a Velociraptor and the sharp claws of the hybrid Indominus Rex. In the film, the female roars were created from crocodiles, lions, alligators, dog, penguin, tiger and elephant all layered together. Ceratosaurus. It had a short horn on its snout. The snout horn was for display purposes only. It had a massive tail, bulky body and heavy bones. Brachiosaurus is a member of the sauropod family and one of the most well known of all dinosaurs. Dimorphodon from Jurassic World. It was a genus of medium sized pterosaur from the early Jurassic period. It had about a 4 foot or 1.2 meter wingspan. 
It had a huge head with deep, wide toothed jaws. Pteranodon was a flying reptile that lived during the time of the dinosaurs during the late Cretaceous period. It was a close relative of the dinosaurs. It had a crest on its head, no teeth although in the movie it does, and a very short tail. Ankylosaurus was built like a living tank with extremely thick bony plates of armour on its body, even including armoured eyelids. Its tail also had a second function, it could act as a deadly club. The club was used to swing around and smash into an attacking dinosaur. Its club was so daunting that not even a Tyrannosaurus would want to mess with this alarming species. Patasaurus is a herbivore. The cervical vertebrae of a patasaurus are less elongated and more heavily constructed than those of Diplodocus. Triceratops, very impressive looking head. It used its horns, a short one above its mouth, and two long ones above its eyes to charge predators such as T-Rex. This is Charlie. Velociraptors lived in a hot, dry, desert-like environment that had some streams. And this one's Delta. Velociraptors normally have a long, sickle-like retractable claw, but these models don't show it. Dilophosaurus. I think the only thing I like about this one is its colour. They were scavengers and roved in packs. Another Dimorphodon. You can see the puffin shaped head here and the splayed legs. Stegosaurus has 17 bony plates along its spine and a powerful spiked tail. Both could inspire fear but were used primarily for protection. Carnotaurus has a huge muscle between her thigh and tail that allows it to wind up for one extremely powerful kick. Velociraptor in the movie, they had a primitive level of vocalisation which enabled them to direct attacks and call for help. Tyrannodon means toothless wing, but in spite of this, it appears with teeth in the movie. Here's Echo. Velociraptors were very agile and may have been able to run up to roughly 40 miles per hour for short bursts 
and possibly jump. Indominus Rex, and yes, she has had a paint job. She is a genetically modified hybrid mutant dinosaur and the main antagonist in Jurassic World. It was created from the DNA of Tyrannosaurus, Giganotosaurus, Rugops, Majungasaurus, and Carnotaurus. Parasaurolophus is a herd animal and it was feeding on the park's rich vegetation. The most stunning feature of the Parasaurolophus is the crest on its head. Tyrannodon is Jurassic World's biggest pterosaur or flying reptile. With a wider wingspan than any other known bird, it's primarily a fish eater. Mesosaurus was a genus of large aquatic carnivorous lizard from the late Cretaceous about 70 to 66 million years ago. In the movie, Mesosaurus had a frill running down its back. Dilophosaurus was aggressive and a medium sized carnivore that feasted on small plant eating dinosaurs and reptiles. It had strong muscular legs and was fast and agile. Proceratosaurus lived in what is now called England during the Middle Jurassic. This small early tyrannosaur had unusually enlarged nostrils and a head crest. And here's the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Dimorphodon. This is a really good model. The mouth opens and shuts, the legs move and the wings can rotate around as well. I'm picking up some of my mini dinosaur collection from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. There's 15 dinosaurs in this set and they're pretty good. I think the Indominus Rex is my favourite. I'll give you a better look in a minute. It looks like it's made out of glass but it is plastic. The mini Indoraptor and Blue the Velociraptor are quite good too. And the Mosasaurus has a jaw that opens and shuts. Mesosaurus with its articulated jaw. Blue the Velociraptor with her blue stripe, much like the gold stripe on the new Indoraptor. And here's Triceratops. And this is the Indominus Rex that I like so much. I wasn't expecting it to look like that. A Patasaurus. And this is Stiggy, a type of Pachycephalosaurus. Allosaurus was the most common predator of the late Jurassic period. Tyrannosaurus. Oh, the Dilophosaurus. Very onyx. The Stegosaurus. Indoraptor. Dark black colour with a golden yellow streak from the base of the neck to its tail. Carnotaurus. Metriacanthosaurus. It once stalked the ancient Jurassic Plains. Tyrannodon. Corythosaurus. It was a large plant-eating duck-billed dinosaur from the Hedrosauridae family. 
Allomosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It had four column-like legs and was a plant-eating sauropod. Its body was partly covered in bony armour. Metriacanthosaurus, a fleet-footed carnosaur. Metriacanthosaurus is named for its distinctively spined vertebrae. Tyrannodon. Edmontosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a hadrosaurid or duck-billed dinosaur. Its back legs were longer than the front ones, allowing it to move about on two legs or four. Gallimimus was a speedy theropod, the largest of its type. They were called chicken mimics because they probably moved like modern flightless birds. The cloned Dilophosaurus had some very unusual traits, including a frill, venom glands, Pachycephalosaurus, the spikes on the skull of Sticky Moloch prevents predators from trying to bite this dinosaur on the neck. Herrerasaurus was a carnivore. It walked on two long legs and had sharp teeth. The arms were short and the forelimbs had three large curved claws. Spinosaurus, such an amazing dinosaur. It lived in an area that's now called North Africa. Spinosaurus was among the largest of all known carnivorous dinosaurs. The skull of Spinosaurus was long and narrow similar to that of a modern day crocodilian. Its main diet would have been fish. Thank you for watching my video. Please share my videos with your friends. See you again soon.